feel free to start whenever you'd like. And I'll set this to full screen mode for you. OK, how does the sound? Um, it sounds pretty good. And yeah, and the recording is going. Yeah, it, it's it sounds it sounds really clear. There's no feedback or anything like that. Pretty soft. Okay, ready? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, thank you. My name is Twella Abrahamson Swan, I am the Air Quality Program Manager for the Spokane Tribe, and presenting today with Brandy Toft um, from the Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe. Uh, thank you. This is Twella Abrahamson with the Spokane Tribal Air Quality Department, and we're, me and Brandy will do a joint presentation today on what our tribes are doing for radon outreach. Uh, the first step is you really want to start by researching your local radon data. Um, what I found is that there's online sources. Um, some of the state radon offices have data for your region, um, Indian Health Service, and our housing department had some data. And um, just putting that into um, materials, make the materials your own. Um, locally focused information always is helpful. Um, you could also do a web page, tribal newspapers. Uh, this is a pamphlet that the Brandy's program did. This is, uh, you know, going along with the pamphlets that can get sent out, you know, and be distributed at outreach events, so fairs, etc. This is a couple things we've been doing here at Leech Lake is we have a radon billboard that is 16 by 24 on a major highway in on the reservation. It's also a major area where tourism is a factor, so we're getting the cross um, education. And then on our truck, I was looking at one day and decided, why can't my truck be a moving billboard? So we have these big magnets made up and put on the truck. And it's been quite effective. I've, I have gotten um, people coming into the office or talking to me about radon because of these two things. Um, also, there's materials available from EPA. And uh, one of the campaigns that came out last year in 2012 um, was a Living Green campaign. And basically, um, it, Living Green starts from the ground up. So there's a lot of pictures. There's some um, formatted for uh, TV, radio, magazines. There's all kinds of different outreach materials that you can use um, from that website right there. And the presentations will be provided after this webinar, so you can go to these links. Um, and so what I did here is just kind of uh, switched it up to our own tribal community. And so green moccasins instead of the green socks, but kept the same messaging and just modified it for our community. Um, there's also direct community outreach. Um, so this is going to the health fairs, housing fairs, powwows. Uh, this is kind of an exciting event that we tie into every year in our community called the Pink Shawl Powwow. And basically a, a celebration powwow for families that have been affected by cancer, whether it's the parents, children, um, and kind of an honoring for those families. And so because radon, you know, like Brandy said earlier, is, you know, proven to be a cause of lung cancer, you know, we also try to get some information out at this power. You also have to look at radon kits. Are they ready, readily available for your community? Um, Brandy said there were a lot of sources for radon kits, um, but for our community, we're a rural community and we didn't have any available. So one of the things that our program did was purchase them in bulk. 
um, place them at the tribal trading post with some outreach materials and also reminders throughout the community to remind people that they were available. Um, and so this is because the homeowner will get their results and I'll also get an email back about results so I can follow up if they have any questions about their test. Along with uh, what Paula's doing over there, we also here at Beach Lake hand out radon tests, only we do it a little differently. We hand them out for free in, in our reservation office here for the air quality. We have them come in and we give them a 10 minute, five minute, kind of discuss radon because so many people confuse it with carbon monoxide that, you know, they're both odorless tasteless gases. So we really make that um, distinction between the two. We then provide the kids free of charge to all these like members and employees. And we pretty much don't turn anyone away. Um, we have some criteria for testing, but we just rather have people come in and test and get that information out into the public. And this year we're providing an incentive is uh, those households who complete a radon test will also get a free carbon monoxide detector, really driving home the difference between the two as we're doing that. And the picture you see below is our former chairman, LaRose, holding radon tea, another form of outreach into not only the, the tribal community, but into the national community, letting them know that tribes are involved in this and the tribes really care about our people and we are out there fighting radon along with the national community. One of the other ways you can talk to your community is focused outreach. Look at the um, tribal housing staff, the construction workers, weatherization, architects, bidders, you know, some focused outreach on the technical aspects. Um, this is our housing weatherization crew learning about radon and also um, getting some hands-on demonstrations on how to install a mitigation system. Um, One thing I want to add to that, Sally, is that um, just something that was kind of cool with us at Leech Lake here is we've joined up with our Minnesota Department of Health and we're going to be holding a medical contractor forum in June um, jointly for contractors, medical professionals, and anyone else who's interested in radon um, for the community at, at large. Another form of outreach that I use here in Spokane is radio outreach. Um, also, it's effective for our rural reservation. Um, we don't really have the best internet access available across the reservation, but radio is a free media um, that people can um, tune into. And so I have a weekly show, it's called the Inner Tribal Beat, um, plays from two to four Pacific. And on, during the show, we incorporate tribal environmental news, some air quality tips, burn band notifications, and also some uh, just native music from all over Canada and the U.S. and uh, community announcements. So get a lot of people that just enjoy listening to the show, but also um, able to provide some news and um, information at the same time. And there is me with Gina McCarthy last year um, getting a Clean Air Excellence Award for the work outreach um, on the radio. Um, another thing is just, you know, so in your community, maybe you don't have access to your own radio show, um, but look for other media outlets. We've had successful um, opportunity working with Native America Calling, um, and this is a national Native American radio show heard by over 500,000 listeners every week. And so here is our, we did this for um, Radon Awareness Month in January 2012. And so you can go back to the website and listen to um, the recording from that time. And so that, that we got a lot of good feedback on that. So that reached a lot of communities across the country. Um, so if you want to do that, basically you build a relationship with the media, contact producers, watch the schedule, propose new shows, speakers. Um, the more help you can be to producers, the better. They're going to be willing to put your topic on the show. 
So definitely work on building the relationships with local TV, local newspapers, and you know get some of the information out to the broader public. So if you have any questions, uh, there's my contact information and Brandy's as well. Um, we can share with you. Um, we had some requests for copies of outreach materials. So if you have any questions about how to get this information to your community, uh, feel free to give me or Brandy a call. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you both. Okay. <clears throat> so last one. I think this one. Let's see. 